This video is going to show working with access modifiers. I've got an example class here called Bob. You can see the class name is Bob, the constructor function is called Bob, and even the tab at the top indicates that Bob.as is our file name. Access modifiers refer to what other class files, what other bits of code are going to be able to access our class or parts of our class. You can see here that our class is defined as public, our constructor function is defined as public. That means that other classes can create new objects called Bob. We can add in variables inside of our constructor, constructor function. So var nm string equals Bob. So we've created a string variable. We've declared it inside of our function. And this makes it a local variable, which means it only exists and can only be accessed inside of our function. If somebody wants to work with this variable, they have to call the function Bob in order to work with it. But the result is trapped inside of here. If we were to declare variables globally, meaning outside of any function, I would have declared a variable num. And let's say it's an integer with the value 72 with that variable created at that point. This variable needs an access modifier. Because it's not encapsulated inside of a function, we have to say, is this a public variable, meaning other people can get the value, or is it private, meaning no one else is allowed to get at that value. If somebody wants to get the value from this variable, we would need to create a function say we create a function called get num. It's going to return an integer inside of this function. We write return num. Now, if somebody was working with our class Bob and they wanted to get the value of this variable, they would have to call the function get num get num will pass back to them the value of the variable. We could work with the variable inside here and say num is equal to num oops, equals num plus 1. So we're adding the value 1 to the value of the variable num every time this function gets called. So the first time somebody asks for it, they'll get the value 73. The second time, 74, 75, and so on. So our access modifiers, private, public, there are two others as well, but private and public are our main two. Control who's allowed to get at the values. Nobody's allowed to get this value unless they call this function, getNum.